Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see a three-time Pro Bowler, Derek Carr, leading the Oakland Raiders as they do battle with the reigning MVP of the National Football League, Patrick Mahomes, and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, we're out to Arrowhead for the call from Kansas City. We'll hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with Derek Carr and the Oakland Raiders. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaughan. And Charles, if you go by the 2018 record, this one, it's a mismatch on paper. That's what it is. But I know you, and I have a feeling you're going to say, with respect to a broadcasting legend, <laughs> not so fast, my friend. Not only that, I hear you're not so fast, and I raise you. Have you ever heard the term, any given Sunday? Or should I say Thursday, or Monday, <laughs> or Saturday? Whenever the NFL teams play, anything can happen. Bitter rivals going back to their AFL days in the 1960s. The Chiefs and Raiders are underway. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. Derek Carr is set and ready to roll as he leads the Raiders out onto the field. Carr in his sixth season, 28 years of age, former second round pick back in 2014. And a lot of people feel this is a critical season for Derek Carr as a Raider. Remember, there were whispers that the Raiders might be in the market for a QB in the draft, even contemplating maybe making a run at Kyler Murray. But in the end, they stood pat with Derek Carr, hoping that he's the long-term answer. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. A look now at the Oakland offense. And there's offensive tackle Trent Brown signed away from New England in the offseason on a four-year, $66 million deal to protect his new quarterback in Oakland, Derek Carr. No stranger to the Bay Area. First three years in the league were with San Francisco as a 49er. He can play left or right tackle. From the 30 on second down, Carr. He'll find his running back, it's Jalen Richard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. But that right there is what Jalen Richard can bring to this offense. I mean, last year, yes, he had 55 carries, but they used him more as a receiver. He had 68 catches in 2018, which was tied for the team lead. Really adds a nice element to the backfield for Derek Carr and company. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second and five now. Carr got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. Like Antonio Brown, Tyrell Williams came to the Raiders in March, came up the coast from L.A. where he caught 41 balls last year with the Chargers. His best year was 2016 when the Chargers were still in San Diego. Over 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns, and the Raiders really have high hopes for this 27-year-old receiver. Carr completes it. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Back to the running game with Jacobs. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, 
hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Here's Carr. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Touchdown. Josh Jacobs, 26 yards. And the Raiders drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Throughout the game, we're going to track so many different statistics, but one is becoming increasingly in vogue explosive runs runs of 20 yards or more and we just saw one right there to open this game now we'll see how the other team responds because when you get a play like that against you this early in the game you gotta feel like your backs it gets the wall a little bit yeah the pressure now increases on you because your first thought is we have to answer right now Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it 7-zip Oakland. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Here comes Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City. They were down in Mexico City in Week 11, defeating the Los Angeles Chargers 24-17. Mahomes, 182, one touchdown, one interception. Not the finest performance of his young career, but he did enough to rally the Chiefs to the victory. Yeah, and that's when you find out if you're a quarterback. Can you win without your best stuff, like a good pitcher, right? Just 63 yards passing in the first half. The few he's ever had in a first half in his young career but he also took off and ran a couple of times how about those scrambles Chiefs fans had to be holding their breath him coming off the knee injury but that's the type of competitor he is and he kept his team in first place so from the 36 now first and 10 Now a man who really came on late last year, it's Damian Williams. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. And now the Chiefs offensive starters. In 2018, the Chiefs were looking for help in their offensive line, and they received it from guard Andrew Wiley, a formerly undrafted free agent. He settled in as a mainstay at guard and mauled people on the offensive line. They expect big things out of him in 2019 and beyond. Mahomes going to fire this out wide to Hill. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Quickly now, the starting 11 for the Oakland defense. Safety DJ Swearinger brings not just athletic ability to the field, he also brings a strong belief that he can get to the football on every snap. An absolutely fierce hitter, you can feel his intensity even when you're sitting down and having a meeting with him prior to the game. The 
Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Kelsey, such a valuable part of this offense. Made the Pro Bowl the last four seasons. 2018 being the most productive when he went over 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns, and a great relationship between he and Pat Mahomes off the field. Very good friends. Attended a bunch of high-profile sporting events together in the offseason. And that chemistry, it certainly shows on the field. LaShawn McCoy, the 31-year-old running back, his first carry. The 20, LaShawn McCoy up to the races. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. LaShawn McCoy, 50 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. So that drive spanned five plays, and it ends with a LaShawn McCoy touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Let's go. Raiders offense taking the field again. And, C.D., we talked early in the year about this Raiders team needing to survive their long odyssey away from home in the first half of the season. Because they came back for a three-game homestand. They won all three of those games. So now look at them. They're 6-4 and four following the Week 11 win against Cincinnati. I think it would be safe to say that going into the season, we thought we would see an improved Oakland Raiders team. But I'm not sure many people saw them as making a playoff push. They could really be a year, maybe two years ahead of schedule if they continue to play this well. They go to the Jets. Big win against Kansas City on the road. This team has a lot to accomplish, a lot left out there, and they could possibly get this done. And I think one of the best stories of the year when you think about that long time away from playing a true home game. Oh, and by the way, after that Kansas City game, could be their final two home games ever in Oakland against the Titans and then the Jags to round things out. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. From the gun, it's Carr. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. This is Jalen Richard, the fourth-year man from Southern Miss. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. On second and nine, Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And oh, he coughed it up, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he has 
Woods brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? Now, I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> So we've got a challenge. Our referee is going to take another look on the tablet. The He's going to be watching to see if the knee was down prior to the ball coming out. Oh, I love what you just said there. You nailed it because if the ball shifting or moving before the knee or any other part of the body hits the ground, then that'll be considered a fumble. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. 53, Mike, Mike. Check. From the gun now on third down, Carr has got it to Williams. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. For these Raiders and quarterback Derek Carr, the Chiefs, they have been their kryptonite in the AFC West. With Derek Carr as a starter, just 2-8 and eight against KC, 2-6 and six before Mahomes became the starter. Now the road not likely to get any easier anytime soon. Carr defers to Jacobs on the draw. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. A loss of two there, second down. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stump that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Second and 12, Carr. It's complete to Williams. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. Car now, nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. Shotgun now for Carr. Jones has it, and inside the twenty before he's brought down. Fourteen yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Carr now. Only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far. It's first and 10. Into the red zone. It's Carr. They'll find his tight end. That's Waller. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. Now a carry for Jacobs. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Here we go. Here Nine we go. yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Here's Jacobs, and he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Collectively great defense. It takes all 11, especially down here toward the goal line. The call comes in. 
and the call essentially says all 11 have to make a play here. You have to show toughness. We just saw it there. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. And some strong running, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, but now it's third and goal. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. Working from the gun, it's Carr. The quick slant, Carr. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. Fourth down and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. Carlson able to put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. Last season for Carlson, bit of a strange rookie year. Won the Vikings job, then was let go week two after going 0 for 3, but he picked things back up. Remember, he was drafted to cure their kicking woes, and he ends up going 0 for 3 against Green Bay, including the potential game winner. Gets cut, picked up by the Raiders, 16 for 17 the rest of the season. I'd say at the end of the year, a pretty good success story. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The football going back over to Kansas City and the Chiefs, Charles, 7-4 after that Week 11 win we discussed earlier against the L.A. Chargers. And as you said... Most importantly, they kept their hold on first place in the AFC West. Now, when this team was 4-0, we thought that they might be the best team in the NFL. They had a couple issues, the Mahomes injury. Where are they now? Remember, when they were 4-0, we were already inking in Kansas City, New England for the AFC Championship game, a repeat of last year. But as you mentioned, it's not been easy sledding since then. Three wins, four losses. This team is still good enough to get there but they've got to continue to get better on the defensive side of the ball. They've got to start stopping people from just running through them. And then if they are able to do that, this team can compete for that AFC Championship. They have the open week, week 12, so they get the extra week to prepare for what could be the most important game on the schedule, hosting an Oakland team that's currently only a half game behind them in week 13. that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. His first carry, their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, Really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Maurice Hurst breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Go 
Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. To throw, it's Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Right, here we go. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Trying to lay one up deep. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Working from the gun, Mahomes. The quick slant caught. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. From four yards out. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Butker now to add the extra point. Makes it 14 10. So that drives seven plays in length, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. We own it. We own it. Now Carr. He completes it to Jones. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. now just one misfire so far after that last completion 15 of 16 it's first down car that's complete to Richard the running back and he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30 call that a very strong gain of 24 
Carnell closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And this one is right down Broadway. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. This fielded at the two. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? His throw incomplete. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has the look of a game that could very well go down to the wire. Just one point separating these two clubs at the break. But they're ready for the second half, and we are too. As we'll kick it right back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Let's go, Let's go. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Mahomes now to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. One of the feature points of the end round is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
They'll run it with McCoy. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Throwing quickly, Mahomes gets this out to Watkins. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A game of two on the play brings up third and four. Now on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Looking to throw is Mahomes. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll be brought down, yeah. losing yardage back at the 40. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it gonna take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Carr going to try and throw on third down. The open man here, Renfro. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. First down, it's Jacobs. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. 24th pick in the spring by Oakland was Josh Jacobs. Only rushed for 640 yards last year at Alabama, but when you consider the offensive depth chart they had, it makes it understandable. So young, won't turn 22 until February, and they're really hoping that the veteran presence of 30-year-old Doug Martin can be a guiding light for Jacobs. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Flying in to you blow that me? play up, you Alex Okafor. Enough takes to start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Operating from the gun. Carr, he sets to fight. That's caught inside the 20. 
What a play that turns out to be 36 yards. It's your first drive of the second half. You're down on the scoreboard. Maybe just say to yourself, let's take a shot, see if we can shake them up. And boy, they hit that one. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. To throw, it's Carr. This complete to Jones. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. To throw his car. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zay Jones that time, and it's third and short. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. The ball's still a few inches shy of the marker after the three-yard run, so now a little soul-searching on fourth down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Carlson is good. And with that, the lead changes hands here in this third quarter. So it's his third field goal now with a ball game, and they've needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back-and-forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you've got to tell your defense, guys, need you to make this stand up because we've got the momentum going in the right direction, but we need you to make sure we carry it home. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Mahomes now on first down. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. We're back now in KC. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. On first down, Mahomes. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And some space here. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 48 yards. And the Chiefs are once again going to retake the lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Butker on for the PAT. He's got it, and it's now a 21-16 lead. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. That one goes for 24 yards. Derek Carr, three fourth quarter comebacks for the Raiders last year, and they only won four games total, so they've got some experience dealing with tight ones. He's going to sling this deep downfield, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing now is Carr. And this will be caught. Tyrell Williams. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. A gain of 12. And a Raider first down. Carr now, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On second down, Jacobs. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The Raiders on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and nine. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This one from 35 yards away. The kick by Carlson is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. So 
So the lead shaved to two now as the kickoff is away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles. If their defense hadn't been able to hold them to a field goal on the other side, they'd be down. But now it's about preserving that very small lead. It is preserving and maybe stretching it out a little bit because if you're a starter on that side of the ball, I certainly hope you didn't loosen up your shoulder pads or start to cut the tape off because if you did, you did it way too soon. They've got to go back out there with renewed vigor for lack of a better term, and also a good plan. They need points, and they need them now. Second and 10 now from the 27. Now Mahomes. They complete it to Hill. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. Mahomes now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Let's go, defense. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guy's playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Pro Bowler Tyreek Hill, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Oh boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this is caught. That's Watkins. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy, and they needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Well, not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete.
So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that might just seal the deal here. It makes it a two-score game with not a lot of time on the clock. A 10-play drive that time. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A Raider first down, 17 yards. First down, Raiders. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. 53, Mike, Mike. Car to throw. He's going to let it fly. And this is caught inside the five. A big play that time for the Raiders. 56 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw, Carr. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but if they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. To throw his car. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. Now Carr. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to get it back to a one-score game. Carlson able to put this one through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often. But you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through.
So with just under 40 seconds to go, you figure this is going to need to bounce their way if they have any shot. And this is going to be recovered by the hand seam. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Flut, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. On the ground, this is Williams. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. They'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Oh, yeah. And here we go. They run it again with Williams. And an alley to run. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. Fight on these two, fight on these two. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, Tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.